This, my friends, has been a very frustrating lock. This is a Hugo lock that I bought. Uh, I bought it in Cyprus, probably, uh, I guess, about three months ago. And actually, I thought it was a Greek lock because of the Greek writing on it. It is a Hugo GR3.5S. And this is the duplication card if you want another key. We don't need that. And here's what the key looks like. It's a six pinner. Try to do a profile shot there. And I, I, as I said, I thought it was a Greek lock, but when I went on the internet and did some research, I found out, in fact, that this Hugo is a German lock. And, of course, it has all of the precision that you would expect from a German lock, and the, hence the frustration in getting this thing open. Uh, really high quality lock, very high level of uh, precision in the machining. It's got a lot of security features. You can see here we have um, these cuts for the anti-snap, so you can't snap it. It's designed, of course, to break right here if someone tries to snap their way into it. Uh, stainless steel inserts there. Uh, as I said, it's a six pinner. And on the bottom you can see that we have a total of ten security pins, uh, five on each side. These are to prevent the drilling. They're carbide inserts to prevent you from drilling out uh, the stack and bypassing the lock uh, that way. It works perfectly. Brand new lock. Like I said, I just bought it. And let's see if we can't get this open. This is not the first take of this video. I have taken, made several attempts and each of them exceeded 10 minutes. Now I have opened this lock a few times but unfortunately not yet on camera. So let's see if we can't make that happen. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here so you can kind of see what's going on. Get that positioned. I put it in the little slot right here to make sure we have some decent tension on it. For this I'm going to be using a standard flag. Uh, no offset whatsoever, just a straight flag. Very narrow to allow us to get in there and work in a pretty tight space. I actually have to use this flag to push it down inside of this little notch so it actually go below the key line in order to set a couple of these pins which is one of the things of course that makes this especially frustrating. So like any other dimple lock, a little bit of tension to, to bind up the pins and I'll start working my way to the rear. And everything feels springy. Three is springy, four. Everything feels springy and then the last pin, pin six, is the binder. So let's see if I can't get centered on him. And see if we can't get him set here. I think we got him. And I'll start working my pick out. Back. Well, I, normally I like to pull it all the way out and then start in the front, but uh, one of the pins, it feels like pin number four, has bound up my pick. So let's see if we can't set him in order to get past him. I believe we got him. Check everybody back there. Okay, I'm going to continue to work my way out. Pin 3 has now stopped me. I can't pull the pick out, so we'll set him. Or try to set him. This lock, very, very picky about. There's no slop in this thing. You really have to pick them very precisely. Okay, I think we got him. I'll continue to work my way out. And the first two continue to be springy. So I'll work my way back to the rear now. Everything's staying springy. I'm on pin five, and he is now bound. See if I can't set him. Feels like we just did it. I'll check six. Everything's good. So I'll work my way back out. It's like picking any other dimple lock, except on this one, you've really got to watch your tension. I'm on pin two. Feels like he's bound. Very easy to overset this lock. Uh, the reason be is because when I went to the internet to look up Hugo, this lock contains serrated pins, so you can't be overly aggressive with this. Okay, I'm again on pin f three. See if we can get him set. Okay, I think we got him. Keep looking. Take it very, very slowly, because once you overset on this lock, just the slightest release on tension, 
and there all the pins will pop right back. Okay, like pin six is maybe popped up a little bit on me. If I can get on him, no luck. Okay, I'm going to start in the front. Pin four. Okay, let's see what we got. Who's who's not in place? I hope I didn't overset anybody. And I might have. Wouldn't be the first time. And there we go. Thank goodness. It was about take number six to get this thing open. I like to go about, when I go ten minutes, nobody's going to watch it. But there we go. Hugo picked um, the Hugo GR3.5S. Uh, you can do this, fellas. Just pay attention to your tension and just pick them very slowly. It has serrated pins. You just barely have to touch them and push them down a notch. It's just like picking an American lock with serrated pins. Exactly the same feel, exactly the same touch. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and for goodness sake, stay legal.